So I guess the question that people are asking is why should I, why would I want to attend a growth mindset workshop? And I think the answer lies in the recent report from the World Economic Forum where they talked about the future reskilling of work and they talk about disruption across every industry and I think the question you need to ask yourself before you even look at that report and those recommendations is why as an employee would I want to reskill? I mean it's obvious that if you need a paycheck you're going to want to reskill but you know for people who are in their 30s and 40s and 50s they almost have a social contract with their employer where they think you know I've put in a number of years I'm entitled to have a job until I retire and we just know that's not the case anymore so before you try to reskill your employees it might be worth your while to help them move from a fixed to a growth mindset so in the workshop we discuss what fixed and growth mindsets are and then we try to build on five pillars of growth in the industry so the first pillar is we build on Simon Sinek's uh, start with why theory and we actually go through a start with why workshop and we help people find their why and we help them find their vision for the future and we help them align that vision with their companies and then we go through Sean Acor's happiness advantage and we talk about how metrics go up at work when we have a happy workforce so we talk about how we apply happiness to growth mindsets and then we talk about uh, Dr. Greg Wells is the ripple effect and we talk about how the aggregate of 1% across you know, eating better, moving better, sleeping better, thinking better will help you perform better at work. And then we talk about our fourth pillar which is critical mistake analysis and we talk about how 20% of the things that we do actually uh, impact the greatest outcome in our business world, our business lives and our personal lives. So we look at mistakes and we look how to identify which mistakes we're making every day are critical ones and which ones really don't matter as much. So we can focus on what's going to give us our greatest rate of return. And then we talk about daily habit building. We talk about taking those, those practical steps every day that are training our brain so that we actually start to develop a growth mindset and we start to display growth mindset behaviors. And we learn um, as a growth mindset champion, those people who come to the workshop, they become growth mindset influencers for their organizations. And they start to create little pockets of communities. They learn how to communicate growth mindsets with others so that that mindset, that culture can spread throughout your organization. And we do know that all the business metrics go up when we have a growth mindset culture versus a fixed mindset culture. And one of the more interesting things that we'll be sharing with folks at the workshop is how to take growth mindsets and measure those against business goals, measure it against business success and what that looks like, and, and show how we can create operational efficiency with growth mindsets. So we have three business metrics that we can measure against the five pillars that we're going to be teaching about growth mindsets. So I look forward to answering any questions that you might have, and I look forward to engaging with your key influencers at our next workshop.